coming up in the vlog. Pulling up. Over the top. Coming down. Very <laughs> <So> cool. <laughs> Master Tower, good morning. Gulf India, Bravo. India, India with information, the hotel 1016 set. We'll be cross taxi. Gulf India, Bravo, India, India, Gloucester Tower. Give way to a air tour inbound to Cotswold and a Robin outbound from Cotswold and taxi holding point Alpha T. Giving way to uh, traffic, taxi Alpha T, Gulf India, India. Welcome back to the vlog and thank you to all my subscribers. My name's Adam and today I'm with Roger Chamberlain from Altered Attitude, based at Gloucester Airport in the UK. We're flying this beautiful pit special and I'm having my first aerobatic experience. All the details for Altered Attitude are in the description below so please check them out. I've always wanted to try aerobatics but to be honest I've not had the balls to do it so when Roger asked me to join him for a quick experience I couldn't say no. Roger has been flying for over 20 years, he's a flight instructor and holds a tailwheel and aerobatic class instructor rating, so I'm in safe hands. This aircraft has a super interesting history, so make sure you watch through to the end to find out more. Please smash the thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a comment, I'd love to hear what you think. Today's flight you see is real, but this video has been edited for your viewing pleasure, do not use for training. Ok we're ready to go, so sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. Gulf India, Lampwake, runway 27. Lampwake, runway 27, Gulf India, India. Gulf Extra Ski, uh, cross runway 0436. And if necessary, give way to a diamond star outbound from Skypark. Cross 0436 and give way to the traffic from Skypark, Gulf Extra Whiskey. Gulf Extra Golf, Echo Mike, Delta Mike, with two on board, VFR to Oxford, information hotel 1016, ready to taxi out to the fire station. Gulf India, India, the Twin Star head is remaining in the fixing circuit. Right turn out, runway 27 clear for takeoff in 21011 knots. Clear for takeoff, Gulf India, India. Okay, it's all set. Here, Here we go. go. Across the tower, taxi holding point Alpha 2, GH1016. Taxi Alpha 21016, Gulf Delta Mike. Uh, such a great day. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. QNH 1016, request taxi. Taxi Golf India, India. Contact approach 128.555. 128.555, five, 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 Golf India, India. It's such a great uh, feeling being in an open cockpit. <laughs> Golf Romeo Yankee, five miles. Golf Romeo Yankee, fixing circuit active. Contact tower. Early short duration, good feeling this time of year, to be honest. <laughs> get quite chilly, I should think. Yeah. Have to get though, one of those electrically heated microlite suits or something like that. <laughs> Gloucester approach, Gulf India Bravo, India, India with you. Gulf India Bravo, India, India, Gloucester approach, basic service. Basic service, Gulf India with you. All stations cross broadcast, QNH1017, QNH1017. Where are we going to head to? Uh, well, we're, we're sort of in a gap here, so... Yeah, uh, perfect. Well, we're just climbing through three and a half thousand feet, so uh, we'll level off at four, just above the, uh, the cloud. Uh, airframe is configured, top's fully fine, I'll just power back in a, a few moments. P's and P's all look good. What, what are you going to do first? Uh, we'll do the uh, 
do a couple of that just the aileron roll first, uh, then a uh, couple of loops, and then the, the sort of the half Cuban, which is a combination of the two. Great. So, go yeah, just level off here, but over 4,000 feet, so. So uh, power back to 25, mixture back to 13, 25, 25, fuel pump is on, pin those down, have a good look round. So we're clear of uh, built-up areas, we're well clear to the north of the, of the airfield now. Got the M5, we're pretty well just to the west of Tewksbury, just off the right hand wing tip, there's some M5 motorway. away. So, and uh, Malvern's in our sort of 11 o'clock, I'll stick the Malvern's on my nose. Okay. Okay, all set? Yeah. Nice one, strapped in and uh, secure. Yeah, okay. So. Miller on roll to start with, so fix the nose up, neutralise the elevator, full left sailor on. Wow! Down we go. Well, we'll do one to the other way. So, same thing. Nose up, neutralise the elevator, full right sailor on. <laughs> there we go. In fact, we'll do a. Uh, We'll do a half key, but we'll go back the other way before we run into the cloud. So we've got plenty of speed, 170, going up. Over the top, looking over the wing tip. Over, wow. the, over the head, there's the horizon coming through. Check forward. Hey, <laughs> plenty of speed, so we'll do a loop, going up. Checking both wing tips. Looking over the head, there's the horizon, wings are level, relax the back pressure, and then pulling out. Wow. That is amazing. There we go. Well, we'll go back the other way, so... There we go, 155. Pulling up. <laughs> over the top. Coming down. <laughs> there we go. So oh, cool. <laughs> oh, we'll just check around the uh, aeroplane. Everything seems good. That's oh, good. Peace and peace. So that was, what, three and a half G. So uh, if you go fairly, the more speed you have with the loop, then the less G you need to pull, actually, because okay. you, you've got a bit more energy to get you around. So uh, I tend to, you know, uh, use a bit more speed with uh, sort of less experienced people, just because obviously you can get away with a bit less G then. Yeah. So it's a bit less, a bit less tiring, so. Fantastic. So it looks like the Bulbans are hiding under the cloud down there, so we're yeah. just over the M50. So if we do a, a 180 here. Okay, well the airfield's just down on our right hand side, so uh, sort of make our way back. Yeah, if that's okay then. Okay, so let's power back then. I don't know about you, I'm quite cold anyway. It's a little bit nippy, but you forget about it when you experience this. <laughs> Cluster approach, Golf India India, overhead seats free at uh, 3,000 feet for rejoin. Golf India India, standard overhead join from 827 right hand, QFE 1013, report 3 miles. Report 3 miles for uh, 27 right hand 1013, Golf India India. Golf India India, traffic is an Icarus and a Diamond Star departed north. Traffic copied, Golf India India. Two zero delta further traffic is a pit inbound from the north. Traffic good. Uh, looking for the traffic two zero delta. Hey, 
remind me of the technique of landing. Uh, <laughs> Confirm the Yankee standard helicopter circuit space and runway 27 right hand clear for takeoff. Well, you just have to move the nose out of the way so you can see where you're going. Yeah. Uh, vacate left from me, 1A. Got a crab in it, aren't we? Yeah. That was great, sorry. Stop India and Jeremy 27 land after the Cessna vacating via runway 1A, wind 2109 and off. Land after uh, clear to land runway 27, Gulf is good. Oh, well, he's turned off anyway. Yeah, perfect. The contact approach 128 decimal 555. Five, five. Oh so, yeah, nose into the wind, opposite wing down and then uh, rudder to push the nose out of the way and we're looking for about sort of 85 miles an hour, I'm just look, aiming to sort of come down to the this nearest corner if you like. Yeah. Can we just taxi forward to let the other guys out the hang? Tower station calling second. Tower 62, we're just on the tower apron. Can we taxi forward uh, a couple of yards uh, to let the other guys out behind us? Tower 62, APAN. Taxi forward, Tower 62. Traffic like a kilo orbit complete, we established base leg. Number two. Golf India, just short back track, vacate via runway 1A. Vacate via 1A, Golf into India. Foscat 3, taxi to Skypark. Wow, that was amazing. Skypark, <laughs> we'll So, how long have you been behind the pits? Well, the, uh, the first time I ever flew in one, my wife bought me a trip as in a trial lesson over at Northampton. Uh, I'd, I'd just got my PPL, so I'd probably only got about 60 hours at the time. And I'd, I remember thinking, you know, strapping myself, or being strapped into the front, and thinking, this thing's got no wings. <laughs> but it was such a, you know, such great fun and rather different to the uh, Cessna 152s I'd flown up to that point. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it was quite a, you know, a number of years. That would have been back in the late 90s, I guess. Um, but sort of I started seriously about sort of 2013 uh, with a, uh, a guy operating out of Shopton. Um, and in the event, you know, like the uh, the Remington ad, I ended up effectively buying a share in uh, in his aeroplane, and uh, and we've sort of uh, we've operated it jointly since. So. But this this aeroplane uh, we've had uh, since uh, summer of 2017. It's um, it's fantastic, a lovely aircraft. It is. It's in good condition. It's interesting history. Um, came into the country about 20 years ago uh, from Portugal. Uh, was rebuilt by um, a company down at, uh, at Wickham uh, and the guy that um, used it went on to uh, become the technical director of the Red Bull Air Race series. Well, um, he was unfortunately killed in a motorcycle accident um, and Nigel Lamb, who obviously competed in the Red Bull series, um, was operating a three-pit team at that point with Brightling sponsorship uh, and he um, effectively bought this aeroplane to add and make it a fourth, uh, fourth member. So that's why it's in the, the, the sort of the Brightling type um, colour scheme. Each each pits was a different colour. It was a green one, red one, yellow one, and a, a dark sort of um, sort of purpley colour. Right. Uh, but the Brightling Angels and they, they did mostly corporate hospitality type stuff. Uh, it's not. Yeah, it it is in nice condition. Not done a huge number of hours. Very responsive though, I mean this is the first time I've done aerobatics, but you know, it, the, the manoeuvres you can pull, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean it, it's just uh, small and light, it's like, uh, you know, sort of equi you know, the aerial equivalent of something like a Caterham 7 sports car, it's just, you know, there's, there's nothing fitted to it that's not necessary just for basic uh, flying, and obviously the the biplane uh, configuration with the uh, bracing wires means it's pretty strong. Um, and it, yeah, it's just simple traditional uh, design and it does fly remarkably well really. Yeah. When you think it was, you know, Curtis Pitts back in the late 40s just built himself something that looked about right just for fun for himself. Uh, and it's gone on to sort of spawn, you know, loads of different derivatives, single seat, two seat, factory built, you know, amateur built. And they just fly really, really well. So I, it was either he was either 
very lucky <laughs> with the design or he was actually quite a clever chap and uh, and got and got the basics right so i mean it's you know the, the flying bit is uh is pretty straightforward actually it just it goes where you point it and it doesn't really um you know it, it sort of responds instantly there's not much delay yeah um the 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 tricky bit is getting it back down on the ground again because um, yeah that looked you know, tricky it, it did look tricky <laughs> the um, yeah the view is pretty poor because you've got the uh, the engine in the way yeah. and uh, my big head as well well that's all <laughs> I mean to be fair actually that doesn't make a huge amount of difference because right. the engine's still in the yeah, way anyway I guess so, yeah. um, but um, yeah and it's just you know, you, you just need to fly it accurately, really, yeah. or reasonably so. It's yeah. not, um, there's, no, uh, there's no there's no damping in the undercarriage. Yeah. So, you know, if you touch down a bit firmly, it will bounce. Yeah. Um, so I think I've done more go-arounds flying the pits than pretty well in everything else. <laughs> everything else combined, when a, you know, a, an approach or a landing hasn't yeah. been quite perfect. So. Thank you so much for today. Okay. Really appreciate it. No, it's been great. It's good. We've been lucky with the weather, haven't we? So it's Absolutely. been good fun, yeah. Thank you for watching if you've got this far. Please leave me a comment and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also, make sure you check out Altered Attitude in the description below and experiencing the pits would make a great Christmas present. Stay safe and there'll be another video coming soon.